Welcome back to our tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a router for React applications. After we have loaded our article card, when you click the article, we will direct to another page, which is a new article page. When you go back to your home page, and there's a, we click the new articles, then go to the new article path, and you can see the new article and other page. So let's do it. First, we need to install a Node.js package called React Router DOM. In this package, we can use the router built in for this package. And that's why we can use different paths to determine different page in our applications. We go to our console and type npm install stash dash save we add router dom and wait for the installations after the package is installed then we start our code first we need to create new layout we create a new folder in the layout directory and type new articles and type the view articles two layout will be used to display our article and create our article in these two folder we also create view article.js and view article.model.css remember we need to add the modules keywords after our view article otherwise we cannot use the css modules okay after we have added two layouts in our applications then we go to our app.js and start editing our router. To do that, we first import our package just installed. It. So we type import and curly basis and we type browser routers and we select the browser router is from React Router DOM. And we also include our router switch and route in our applications we are going to modify our code first we need to route it by a router element so we add router here and we this router will be control all the elements in our applications so we put heading and main within these routers and then we use a switch statement to determine which routes we need to go in which statement we need to have the element called route so we put main in one of a route and the route there is a parameter called path path we set it to nothing which means if our application doesn't have the external path we go to the main we also need to insert the keywords of exact to the path of nothing which means if the path doesn't contain any external path then we go to main Otherwise, if we didn't have the exact value, every external path will go to the main. That means we cannot do the similar thing with what we had did before. Also, we create a new route with the path is equal to article stash id. In here, we want to put our real article element just we created. So we first go to realarticle.js 
and start editing this file. We first import our React element and we want to make it element into stable elements. So we add it from React and also import the classes because we want to use our CSS modules and start creating our class view article extend component and also create the constructor and the state finally we also add the render method to show this is a article last but not least we also need to export our class okay we go back to the app.js and we import what we have done before okay okay in this route there is a path called article and id which means if our url bar go to article and the article id will go to this path otherwise we go to another path also we also need to create a new route which is a new articles And also we need to edit our new article elements. So we go to new article.js and what we have done before, we import the React and we want to make this one as the stable component. And also what we import our classes from our CSS modules. In here, we also create a class called new article, extend component, create the constructor and the state for them. And create a random method. And we return the worst new articles remember to export our class okay we go back to the app.js and we import our new article elements here okay after we have did these things then we go back to the browser to see what happened okay we go back to our app and we try our route now as if we have set it we have article and article id so we can enter random id later on we will can doing for different cases okay we enter our article and id so we can see the our app will display the view article page and then we try to create a new articles Oops, nothing happened. So let's check out what happened. Okay, we go back to our app. You can see there is distance slash here. So we first add the slash here and okay, we go back here and refresh. Okay, you can see the new article we displayed it. So be careful of your code. We need to add slash before our path and we use exact to determine whether this path is exact the same of this path and we will display the element of in the router in this particle we can see we add ids ids will be used later on we will, we can cache the id for doing and other things so if this case the new article doesn't receive any ids so we can just output the new article element last but not least we want to make our heading to click the button to go this path okay first we go to our headings in this case when i click not in button click no button is nothing happened because we haven't set the router we will do 
in the later tutorials. And here we want to build a button to have go to the new articles. So how we do that? We have have two ways. The first way is we just edit new articles and save. Go back to our Chrome. When I click this button, we go to the new article. Okay, we go back again. Click this button and go new articles. Okay. And other thing is, if you this is not an A any link, we doesn't have a half called new article. We want to direct just maybe a text, just like the article card. In the article card, we want to make the user when he click the card image. Or the card title, then we'll jump to the view article page. To do that, we need to import the link element from we add router DOM. This link element is used to make the element wrapped in the link element into a half. So we can wrap it our card image inside the link elements. In the link element, we have the parameter called two. In two, inside two, we can set our path. Just like stash article plus our article key. Okay, so we do the same thing with title. Okay, we save again and go back to our Chrome. We go to home page again. So you can see our mouse became a cursor. That means this link we can create and go to our half. When you click it, you can see our path will change, but you can see this is not what we want. Okay, we get back to our code. What happened? Because we haven't received our IDs, okay? So we go back to our main. Let's see what happened. Okay, so this is our get article method, and we set the IDs here. Oh, we forgot to put dot ID in here. So if we just type dos in here, we cannot receive the IDs value from this queries document snapshot. So we need to add IDs for get the article IDs. Okay, so. We save and we go back to the Google Chrome and we go back for the home page and do it again. When you click this button, you can see in the right hand side, this area, you can see this area, we have the path, which is the document ID. When you click it, you can see our document ID will display well now. Okay, after we want to go back, oops. Okay, we need to also set our path to nothing. Okay, so we go back to our code, go to headings, and set the NAV bar brand half into nothing. Okay, we save and we go back to our Chrome. Okay, when I click this button and we back to the home page. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to display our article in view article page. Curiosity is a self-learning platform with knowledge-based recommendation systems, providing a personalized learning experience for the self-learner and the school students. 
people could share their knowledge and exchange for the rewards. We are doing the next generation learning tools for the next generation of learners.